this is a ice tracking beacon and uh, we throw it out of an airplane onto ice flows and it parachutes down. And it's for researchers and oil companies that want to track where the ice is going. When it comes out of the airplane after it lands on the ice, you have to get the parachute off uh, or else it could drag the whole beacon. Before we had been using these pyrotechnic cutters, we wanted to get away from uh, explosive anything and just get to a purely mechanical release. And we were, of course, being Calgarians aware of SAIT and the, uh, the technical know-how that they have. So we thought, what a great combination. We could use the, the 3D printing and the metal working and the technical know-how and come up with a really good design. We had an initial design, but it had structural problems. And then that's when Tim came on board. Right now at State, I'm studying mechanical engineering technology. My role in the project was coming up with a new design and eventually printing in and then got to manufacture them, so that was really cool. So he worked with myself, with Jim Nickel, with our industry partner Canatech, Chris Ulin, and they worked through all the little iterations. We had the opportunity to go up to Bicycler, uh, put these devices together, and then ultimately see them deployed in the field. They succeeded exactly as we predicted, which is really reaffirming. It was fantastic to see it work so well. And the second it hits the airflow, the, uh, the parachute pulls back, the release device engages, and then the beacon drifts down onto the target. The line is cut and the parachute just blows away. Uh, we've now got a simple solution. We can just make a whole box full of these things at a fraction of the cost.